Hey gamers, Smoking Tires from CDVI Gaming here to show you the player tracker that we have built into our CDVI Zombies server. Now our player tracker is actually provided by a third party um, so what they are actually doing is recording data points constantly to see where players are going, what items coming in out of their inventory and things like that and it also does a Discord bot as well for us. So we've got a separate admin and moderator channel. Um, so certain events are now being notified so that the admins and moderators can do some investigation. So I just want to take you through that to show you kind of what we've got going on in the background and it's a Bit way of really sort of um, giving players a bit of confidence that we can look after you a bit better if there's a bit of a dodgy player on the server. So obviously we don't allow um, base raiding within the PvE area. So if you have been raided, you can report it to a uh, moderator and they can investigate to see whether or not an event has actually occurred. And if you've got um, insurance they can actually have some of your items back so let's uh, let's do an example here because obviously we don't allow the use of explosives in the PVE area there's no need to use those at all um, so normally when explosives are being used we it's normally because someone's trying to break into someone's base quite typically okay because it's the fastest way to get in easily so what we've what we've enabled is um, uh, look at the log messages. So as soon as explosives are, are loaded, really we start to see strange things happening on the server. So we'll actually get this message here. So let me just maximize that and zoom in a little bit. So we'll get a message here saying from the server via Discord the objects are falling off the world. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. Um, so during that time period I actually got quite a few messages so this was um, early this morning from pretty much quarter past one so this is our player tracker I'm gonna just show you oh, I clicked data by mistake so I'm gonna show you what I do is I can click a date range so I'm gonna click from one o'clock this morning and then the second entry uh, pretty much went up to 2.22, so we'll go to 2.30 a.m. Okay, and I'll click apply, and that sets a date range. I can then filter by player, filter by Steam ID, filter by location, or even item name if I'm after that. But for now, I'm just going to filter on the date range for events that happened. So this would be the same if you report your player, your base was raided, for example. Okay, and then what I've got over here is I've got a picture of the map on the right hand side and I can actually move that around to see where a player was and where they've moved to and so on. See most of those guys are fairly static at that time. Okay, um, and what we can do is I can put my mouse over it will tell me which player, give me a name of which player. Obviously you don't need to know that at the moment. Let's re-click Gator. And then what I've got down here is inventory changes. So this shows me what is coming in and out of a player's inventory. I get the time, the player name, the item, the number. So it may be um, stuff coming in or coming out. So negative, the reds, is stuff going out. Green, the positives, is stuff coming in. And it also gives me the exact coordinates. And I can also ex export this data should I wish. So I can just copy it, bring it into Excel or PDF. I can also search for a specific item or player within there. So I'm just going to do an export into Excel, which I've got here. And if I... So we had an event that happened at 1.14. So if I go to 1.14... Okay, so this is the 114 area we've got roughly here. So what we're seeing, let's just widen that. So what we're seeing here around 114 is that toxic rain here is having a few 
items leave his inventory some going in some going out um, what I suspect here is actually like it's got a lot of scrap iron coming in a lot of rocks coming in a lot of coal coming in a lot of sand coming in so it's pretty obvious what he's doing he is mining yeah and he's probably using a fast a high spec auger because toxic is a high ranking player and he's doing it at such a rate that the ground is slightly disappearing too quickly um, and that's perfectly fine behavior if i expected him to be for example blowing stuff up we would see dynamite or grenades or rocket launcher ammo coming out of his inventory okay so that's basically how it all works it's as simple as that it's quick and easy to investigate so in the likely event of uh, someone trying to raid a base because it does happen what I would do I was asked for coordinates where is your base I would then be able to put in a location search specifically the east west or north south coordinates I'd put a small block range of just say 25 blocks within that area and the date range of when you think it happened I'll put that in and we'll click get data and it will search then for what's happened within that area and you can see when I do that that actually what happens is a little box gets draw, drawn down and that's the kind of area that you'd actually be searching in so I've gone for zero zero the center of the map and just 25 blocks wide from that so I can do lots of quick easy filtering to narrow it down find out who was in the area what was happened what was going in the inventory so this is one of the tools we use to really find out if people are doing stuff that they shouldn't be and breaking the rules or ruining in the game for everyone else so if you find um, you need to use this feature you can reach out to a moderator all of our moderators have access to the player tracker so they can do this searching for you so we hope this keeps everyone safe on our server thanks for watching bye for now